Okay, I just replaced the pet cock on this. 1883 Honda Express. Um, the tank was almost empty, so I didn't really empty it. I think if you want to empty it before you did it, of course, turn this off. Um, I think you could take this out and get all the gas out of it that way. Just put something up against there, but I didn't do that. Um, first step to replacing this, though, which I did not do, is take this hose off first. Pull it off. It's going to be kind of a pain. Um, I'm going to get a needle nose in there and just pull it off. And then um, undo this. You know, hold this bottom part with something. Undo this. And um, pull it straight down because you're going to have this filter in there. You can see that. Um, and then make sure the gasket, the old gasket is off of your old one. Um, this one has the reservoir, um, and this one does not, as you can see. It just has on and off. Um, actually, I ordered two. I ordered one off Amazon, too. This part looked cheaper. It just didn't feel... Um, the quality was a little off on this one. You can kind of see. It just looks... Uh, that's good I mean and then I played with this and it just didn't move as good as that new one this one this action was a lot smoother um I always buy two things when I do these um this one was like eight bucks this one was ten and uh I replaced it with a ten dollar one on eBay um and then I winterized this, I guess you could call it. Um, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm on the border of Wisconsin, Minnesota. But um, filled this bad boy up with full gas so my tank doesn't rust. And put a little bit of that in it and just ran it. I mean, you don't have to put this, just some kind of a stabilizer. Um, this bike's in immaculate shape for the year. It's at 83. I've done a lot of work to it so far. Put a new battery in it. Um, typical of these old mopeds, just stuff starts going wrong. Um, the headlight, um, that went out, and it's like a sealed design, so I took it out. Um, and yeah, the bulb is like a pain in the ass change. I cut the bulb out of this and put like a one off a Honda cord in there. Um, but yeah, um, and then I just kind of like epoxied so I can screw that bulb out. I epoxied something on there. So I actually took it out of a taillight of an old beater honda i got sitting in the driveway but yeah <laughs> so that bulb is sweet because i can just change it out because these if you buy the whole thing it's really expensive um and parts are really hard to find so and then what else did i do i did the exhaust this thing the exhaust pipe fell off i had my dad weld that that was a pain in the ass but Got it. I was saying I'm never going to buy one of these, and then I end up buying one, and two-stroke motor, just, I don't know. I always have issues with them. Um, yeah, it's fun to rip around on. Um, yeah. Got a little oil leak here. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, I don't know. The bike's got... Yeah, 4,000 miles on it. I don't know. I'll probably end up selling it soon. Who knows? It's just so goddamn cool. Same year I was born, too. So, that's that. Um, I'll link those parts. It's a fairly easy fix if you know what you're doing. I mean, I don't even know why I'm making this video. Maybe just to show this thing off. But, yeah, that's about it.